What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 20 minute foam roller stretch. So grab your foam roller and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited to be here with you today for our foam roller stretch. I know a lot of us have these and a lot of us just kind of keep them in the corner. So I want you to grab yours pull it out and I want this to be something that you do frequently throughout the week, okay? This is kind of like your own little mini self myofascial release or your own targeted massage. So I want you to keep implementing this to make sure your recovery is as great as it could be, okay? I have my foam all the way through foam roller today. I have a couple different options linked in the description. There is one that is a trigger point foam roller that's maybe for more advanced or intermediate foam rollers. Uh, it's hollow in the middle with kind of a plastic piping. So. This one is gonna be a great for beginner option, but let's go ahead and get down onto the floor. All right, and we're gonna start with the foam roller parallel to your spine, okay? So putting it right in the middle of your spine, I want you to just open your back up, hands up to the ceiling, and we're gonna open your arms to the side in three, two, one, open it right up here. Good, this is called a T-spine roll, so your thoracic spine we just kind of get a little pressure on it, so feel free to roll side to side with your hands stabilizing. You get a little pressure on the muscles right around your spine. Okay. There you go. And this is nice and slow and controlled, so don't rush through. Don't round your back and kind of wobble quickly. Just take it over and back. Great job. Bring your hands back up over top of your chest, and I want you to bend them now to 90 degrees. Okay, open your elbows out to the side. Big stretch in your chest, your anterior deltoids. Keep this 90 degree angle. And if this is too much kind of flexion on your low back, feel free to just lift your hips up off the floor. That's also fine. There you go. Drive your elbows down to the floor for three. Two, one, bring it back up. And you can return back to seated now and we'll take the parallel perpendicular set up now. Okay, put the foam roller right under your shoulder blades. Dig your heels down, lift your hips up and support your head. And you're just gonna slowly roll for just a quick second, finding the areas where you feel tender. Okay, roll over towards your left shoulder blade, right where it meets your spine. And I want you to just pause right there, just hold. Right between your shoulder blade and your spine. Find a tender spot, hold right there. Great job, keep rolling, come back to the middle. Okay, and now we're gonna take it over to the right rhomboid, is the area between your shoulder blade and your spine. So take it over to the right side and hold. Keep breathing, you've got about 30 seconds per position to hold. Great job, come back to the middle. I want you to take it right up to the top of your shoulder blades and then release your chin, open up, and drop your hips down to the floor if you can. We're just opening up your cervical spine here. So if you have something called tech neck or if you're seated at a desk or at a car all day, you're kind of rounded in this position, right? What we're doing here is just opening that up. Great job. All right, bring your heels back into the floor, lift your glutes up, and you're gonna roll onto your lat, okay? The area right under your shoulder blade. Okay, so if you think of this big muscle right here, this is where we're targeting. So I want you to put it right here, okay? Go under your armpit right here. Okay, you'll find a little tender spot. Feel free if you can to lift the bottom arm off the ground and just roll towards your shoulder and then lift up a tiny bit. Shoulder and lift. Good, find your tender spot, hold right there. Foam rolling is a lot of fine where it's tender, where there's some tension. 
and just sit there. This is the epitome of get comfortable being uncomfortable. Okay, right after this, you're gonna feel incredible, so it's great for your recovery, but it's not necessarily comfortable the whole time. 15 more seconds right here. Just keep in your mind that this is for you. This is for your body. This is for the body that's been working so hard for you. Great job, release your arm. Okay, I want you to come up. Now you're gonna put your arm behind the foam roller and put the top of your shoulder on. I want you to go ahead and support your bottom arm, holding it here, and just slowly, gently take it from the tip of your shoulder down to the bottom of your shoulder cap. So it should be kinda here to here. All right. And find a spot that's tender, hold right there, and you can really push into this one. Great job. And roll a bit to the other side. So you've got posterior, lateral, and anterior delt. Find a spot that's on the other head of your deltoid. Hold. Great work. And rest. All right, we're gonna finish up with just a quick forearm session on this side. Okay, and then we'll switch to the other side of your body, lat, shoulder, and forearm again. Okay, so top of your hand goes facing the floor, other hand pushes here. Okay, and we're just gonna get a little massage on the top. You're gonna see your fingers dancing a little bit. We are pushing on the muscles that move them. Great job. If you find a tender spot you wanna really hold there, feel free. You can also do this with a water bottle on your desk or a table or a counter. All right, flip your hand over now so palm is facing the floor. Same kind of thing. You might need to angle your body just a bit differently. Okay, keep going. Just to demonstrate what I'm saying, you can do the same thing with your water bottle on your desk. Okay, it provides a bit more pressure because it's a little harder. Okay, all right, so let's flip it over to the right side lat, okay? Coming over right under your armpit again. Okay, right here, and adjust accordingly where you feel it, and hold. And sometimes just lifting your elbow off the ground is plenty of pressure. work. This is really beneficial for any overhead movements that we do. If your lats are very tight, you'll probably only get to about bicep beside the nose. Okay, to fully get that overhead extension, you've got to loosen up the lats. They are very tight in seated positions for long periods of time. Okay, shift just a bit and give me 10 more seconds of pressure here, wherever you feel it. Great job. Two. One, all right, lift it up. Take your arm onto the other side of the foam roller. Let's hit the deltoid. And yes, this one looks kind of strange, but it's just self-induced pressure. Okay, a little self-massage. A lot of times we're gonna feel it down near the bottom part of our shoulder. Find where it feels tender to you and hold it there. Might feel it getting a little bit warm. That's some blood flowing to an area of tension or just blood flowing through your muscle as you're promoting recovery right now. Good. Adjust just a little bit. Put some more pressure on it. Let's hold here for 12 more seconds. Two. One, and great job. We'll go back to the forearms now. Upper body's feeling good, right? Okay, so give me your palm facing the sky. Hand puts pressure here, and let's push. And again, you can use your water bottle 
If you have a Royal Change water bottle, the stainless steel is obviously a bit harder than the foam that we have here. Good. Normal for your fingers to dance, just kind of waving at yourself. Good job. Find a spot that's tender. Hold right there. Put some pressure. It, flip it over. Okay, you can adjust your angle here. I'm going to show you on the water bottle again. Okay, it's just because this is near your desk. A lot of times our, our mouse hands, muscles get tired. Same thing on the foam roller. Stay between your joints too throughout the whole day. You don't need to cross over your elbow or your wrist or your knee or your hip. Stay on the muscle between the joints. Okay, great job. Let's move it on down to the glutes, okay? So, I have a seat here, all right? And let's tilt over to where mainly your right glute is on top. Okay, just shift a tiny bit right here. Good work. And find a tender spot, hold right there. If you wanna have a little cross, that's okay. Good job. Good, press just a little harder for four, three, two, one. And let's switch it over to the other side, glute. Shift here. All right, here we go. And I'm giving you one isolated glute at a time, just because there's a, a lot of parts to your glute muscle. You've got a lot of strong muscle back here, so just one side at a time. We can address where the glute ties into the hip and the spine. Great job, keep that pressure right on the tender spot. Could be closer to your hip, could be closer to your tailbone or your coccyx. Just keep it right there. A little bit of shaking is kind of normal. A little bit of blood flow again, totally normal. And good, come back into the center. Just kind of roll freely, one last roll over both glutes. Great job. We've got a really great glute workout coming for you this week on Tuesday. So the start of tier number one or tier number two of summertime five. All right, let's go on down to the hamstring. We're going to take it one leg at a time again. So let's go over to the left hamstring. Okay, other foot can be here on the floor supporting. I'm going to lift up. Roll, and you have the ability to turn your toe internally or externally. Okay, so let's turn it a bit internal toward the middle of your body and find a spot right here. Hold, hold, hold. Might be closer to your glute, might be closer to your knee. Either way, hold right there and think of your leg melting over top the foam roller. Good, a little more pressure. You can put your foot on top, your leg. And good, let's roll it externally now. So rotate your toe a little bit outward, not all the way over onto your IT band. We're still on the bottom of your leg, We're on the back side of your leg. Hold right here. And again, feel free to stack your leg if you want a little more pressure onto it. You can also just support it right here. Great job, come back into the middle. Just roll freely here for a second, right on top, toe pointed straight ahead or to the ceiling. Good, find one more spot that's tender and just hold right there. Great 
job. All right, just to continue on this leg and then I'll get you off your hands for a second. <laughs> We're gonna go down to the calf. This one, same thing here. You can support with your foot on the ground like this. Okay, you can also stack to put more pressure. Okay, this one you can really kind of dive into it. Really push down through the foam roller. Good. And find a spot here. Really push and kind of seesaw at this one a little bit to get a little more pressure. Okay, let's flip it over onto the same leg, onto your quad. Okay, I personally love the single leg isolation approach to a foam roller. Okay, so the other leg for me, I can turn here to the front, it's just out to the side. Okay, so it's just supported right here. All right, and you're gonna stay between your knee and your hip. Good, go ahead and find your tender spot. Hold it right there. Might be closer to the knee. Keep the toe pointed to the floor for right now. We'll turn it externally in just a second. Great job, okay, roll a little bit more. And now I want you to turn to where you are perpendicular with the foam roller with your femur, okay? So you kind of create a T shape here, across, straight. Okay, hands support yourself here, and you go back and forth. Okay, so this is hitting your adductor. You can straighten your leg, it feels a bit more tense. You can bend it, that's a little bit more beginner. Okay, or a little bit more tender. And you're just shifting your hip Side to side. My other leg is over here, knee is on the ground. Okay, just make sure that you're allowing yourself the freedom to go along the inner thigh. Okay, stop right here, hold. Straighten your leg a bit if you can, just gently. Switch it over to the hamstring on the right leg. Okay, so shooting my foam roller out to the side. Just take it right here. Good. Turn your toe inward and hold. And we'll hit the same thing here your hamstring, then your calf, then your quad on this leg. Roll again and rotate your foot the other direction. Whether you turn internal or external, open it out to the other way and hold. And just think of your leg melting over the foam roller. One last roll over and we'll go down to the calf. Okay, same thing. This one, like I said earlier, you can kind of apply a bit more pressure to it. And for this one, a little harder to hold. So I just try to push harder, either by stacking my feet up or actively pushing down to the floor with that part of my leg. Okay, you'll find down near your Achilles is your soleus. Okay, up here in the meteor part of your calf is your gastrocnemius. Both of those deserve attention. Both of those can display tightness in your foot and your ankle if they are tight. Good, find that spot where it is and stay there, kind of teeter around it. 
Good, I know this isn't comfortable, but I know you're gonna feel so much better in just a minute. All right, let's flip it over to the quad. We'll take it just the front of the quad and then we'll go to our inner thigh. Go ahead and find that spot on the quad. Found mine pretty quickly. <laughs> Whew. Stay here. Push, push, push into it. Try and relax. Even if it's tender, try and breathe deeply. Good, one more big deep breath in and out. Good, swivel over until your inner thigh is on the foam roller. Now let's go right here. Great job, and we'll finish it out with the adductor. And if any of these spots, as we run out of time here, I know I wish I could foam roll with you for like another 30 minutes. If any of these spots were really tender to you, I want you to take the time right now and address them. Go back to the area that you felt was tight, okay? If you can give yourself five more minutes, this becomes a more individualized foam rolling session, okay? And you start to learn the relationship with your body is your body will tell you what it needs, okay? Your body will say, this is pretty tight here. I need some attention. I need to walk a little bit more. I need to get up more often where I need something like self-myofascial release, okay? Active, dynamic, or static stretching, but listen to the areas that are tight. For me, it was inner thigh and quad and a little bit of calf, okay? So I'm gonna pay attention to those. I'm gonna move them, mobilize them, make sure I do what my body needs to recover its best so I can see my best most healthy functioning body and I'll keep it injury free, okay? So grab your foam roller at the link in the description if you don't have one already. Share this with your friends. I know a lot of people do have foam rollers that are just kind of sitting over in the corner. I want you to use them. Your body wants you to use them as well. So before you head out today, make sure you take a quick second to make sure you are subscribed. If you finish the stretch, thumbs up right here. Then go subscribe and turn on your bell notification to make sure you get updated for every workout that's uploaded. I will see you back here tomorrow. Great job today.